So hi guys, I'm going to be starting off the process of how to make curry crab and dumpling by boiling our dumplings first. We have two cups of all-purpose flour. I got one and a half cup of water and I got a teaspoon of salt onto the side. So what I'm first going to do is pour my flour in here. This is really easy to make. So don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through each of the steps. We got our two cups of flour here. I am now going to add the teaspoon of salt and I'm going to mix it around with my hands like this. All right, so now we're, what we're going to do is slowly add the water and knead the flour. We may not even end up using all of this water. So I'm gonna put a little bit and then knead. And we're only gonna go along the process by adding water as needed because it's always difficult to accurately measure how much water you're gonna end up needing. So I'm gonna continue to add a little bit more water and knead as I go along until we have a nice firm ball. Okay. slowly coming together and I'm slowly adding just bit by bit What always ends up happening to me <clears throat> is sometimes I end up adding too much water and then having to go back and add a little bit more flour just to offset the excess moisture, which looks like I'm about to do that. All right, so we're almost there. Okay, so here we have it, our nice and soft ball of dough. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pinch off some sections and we're going to make them into circular pieces. We're not gonna make them too big because we don't want big dumplings inside of it. So I'm gonna pinch off a section like that I'm gonna roll it, make them kind of flat. See like this, this is pretty good. You want your dumplings to look like this. And we've already got boiling water on the stove. The best thing to do is start by boiling out your water first so that you have nice hot boiling water to add this to while you're in the middle of this process. It just cuts down on time. We're all pressed for time. So we can make little dumplings here. This is gonna end up being a lot. I may or may not use all of it, but it's fine if you use all. Some people like a lot of dumplings, okay? These have no baking powder in it, so you don't have to worry about it swelling. So I'm still pinching off. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So here we have it. I finished rolling all of the dumplings. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It came out to nine dumplings. And what we're gonna do right now is add all of these dumplings into boiling water. We're gonna boil them until they're soft. That should take about 20 to 30 minutes. So here's my pot of boiling water. And now I'm going to add the dumplings. And we're going to boil these. Now every so often while these dumplings are boiling, like maybe every three to five minutes, I like to stir them around. This is so they don't stick onto each other and so that they don't stick to the pot. So I just kind of keep them moving so they never remain stagnant. So while our dumplings are boiling, I'm going to prep these limes, I mean prep these crab by soaking them in some fresh lime juice. And I always like to do this because let's get rid of that sea water, salt water undertone that the seafood tends to carry. Because we do want flavorful crab, but we don't want them to have that raw seafood taste either. And what it ends up doing is competing with the other seasonings that you put in the curry. So I'll do this, squeeze all the limes in there. Wow, these limes are being so stingy with the juice. All right. And then after that, just pour some water. So I'm going to put a little seasoning on these, not a lot because we're already seasoning our curry. I got a bottle of green seasoning here. Here it is. I'm just gonna put just a teeny bit, like that much. Green seasoning is optional if you can't purchase it where you live. I got some adobo, I'm just gonna sprinkle it lightly, very lightly. I got some Old Bay as well. Just a little bit. And then I have some seafood seasoning, which is always really good. This is just so we got well-seasoned crabs. Okay, and that's enough. Now what I'm going to do is just massage it. That's it. Okay, so here's my favorite part. We're gonna start mixing our curry. I'm gonna start by putting about two tablespoons of oil. This pot is already hot. I can see the oil begin swirling around. That means it's ready. Okay, so what we're gonna start now with is sauteing our onions, peppers, and garlic. I got half an onion here. Bell peppers. The bell peppers really just enhance that flavor of the curry. I'm gonna drop my thyme. Here's my three garlic cloves. And as that sauteing, we're gonna start adding our pep, our curry. Here's the better pack. Here's our cheese. And 
our Jamaican choice. Now we're really gonna saute this very well before we add our water. and rich this curry is lovely so we've sauteed this for about a minute now what we're going to do is add our water two cups of water and next we are going to season this now I have adobo I have Old Bay. This is gonna be very, very flavorful. I have chicken seasoning. And I have seafood seasoning. So we're gonna stir this around. We're gonna cover this and we're gonna let this curry cook for about 10 minutes before we add the crab. The crab does not need a lot of cooking, maybe only five to 10 minutes of boiling. So we're gonna let this simmer so we can cook our curry first. Wonderful. So let's cover this and we'll get back in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since our curry has been cooking and here comes the finishing part. We are going to add our crabs. Just gonna let this crab cook in this mixture for about 10 minutes, maybe less. This smells amazing, by the way. And there you go, your curry crab and dumpling. Now let's cover. how rich the curry is we have our dumpling 